Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here. And in this video, we are going to have a detailed look at a question I recently received in regards to formatting datetimes in Integromat and how to correctly format the now datetime, so the current timestamp in Integromat. Let's get right into it. So one of the best practices when you're working with relational databases is that you want to set a timestamp to when you've written the data. So in this case, we are going to work with Google Sheets as our relational database. You can, can just use it the same way like a relational database. And the best practice would be that you write a timestamp either last updated, for example. So when did you last update a, a record or for example, um, created. So when did you create the record? So you can go back and you have kind of a history of, of the timestamps. And the problem here is that different time zones have different times. So what time, how do you control the time zone that you're writing in here? And the standard behavior in Integromat, and you might, that's maybe how you noticed it, that it writes either GMT or UTC. So that's the same time zone. It writes the UTC time zone in there. So if you we have a very basic scenario here. So we just um, creating a, a record basically, and we're just writing some time zones, some timestamps into a demonstration sheet, as you can see here. And we notice that there's different times in here. So we've used the same function. We've used the now function in Integromat. Let's have a look at the now function. So this is a date time functionality. And so here, for example, in our created over here at date and time, there's the now variable, and this is the current date and time, but in what format? So the standard format in Integromat is going to be UTC. So if you just put in now, it's going to be UTC. And it doesn't matter what your kind of your Integromat time is. So let's see here, you can see that my time zone in Integromat is Stockholm time. So in this and that format, but it's Stockholm time. And the same way you can set a time zone in Integromat in the editor, basically. Um, you can also set one in um, Google Sheets so, or with your Google account. You can also set which time zone you're in. And you, you would expect, okay, it's either going to use the one from Integromat or it's going to use the one from Google over here. It does neither. So it just, by default, it will use the UTC timestamp. So as you can see over here in Google Sheets, this is the default timestamp that is going to be uh, UTC time. And if you want to form it a specific time um, for your timestamp, then you want to use the format date function. So how does that work? So if we want to, if we build this from scratch, um, the format, how the format date function works is, sorry, format date. So first of all, you want to, you have to put in a time. So in the, our case, we want to have the time right now. Then you can put in the format. So if however you want to arrange the date, the hours, etc., so you can define the format. If you don't do that, it's just going to do the default format, which you can see over in the Google Sheets. So this is how the default looks like. It, since I didn't put anything in. So we use the default format and now you can choose the time zone. So the standard time zone is going to be UTC, but if you want a different time zone in the Integromat help, I will put the link in the description as well. You have the under format date, you have different time zones you can use. And here you also have a link to the time zone list and you want to use the TZ time zone database name. So this is what you want to copy from here. So this is the thing that Integromat is going to understand or how it's going to interpret it. So you just look for the time zone you're working with or you want your time stamp in, and then you just copy, for example, America, Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> so in our case, let's just try it with Euro Prague. So let's throw that in here. So instead of UTC, we're saying Euro Prague. So we have the timestamp now. We want to format the date to Euro Prague. And let's go. Let's run that. And over in the demo sheet, we can see that the default timestamp is still UTC. So it's 10.45 right now in UTC time and then in Prague time, it's 12.45, so that worked. So this is how you control the date formatting of, or the time zone formatting, sorry, of the now variable. So if you wanna have a now timestamp, um, this is how you control it with the format date function. One quick tip on this, so you wanna be careful 
in these right here are just plain string text fields and then it works quite well then um, integromat can just write the date in there but this is it writes it in there as kind of a just a, a plain text but if you put in actual so if you format this to be some sort of specific date etc then you you might run into problems because then integromat writes it one way google um, the google sheet expects something different and then that's when you r run into problems so what i would recommend is just keep the formatting here in Google Sheets, plain text, and then just do the date formatting over here in Integromat and just write that in there. Then you're going to have less problems. Yeah, so this is one use case of how to control the time stamps um, and the time zone for time stamps when you use the now variable. If you have other specific questions you might want an answer to, just send me an email or just write a comment below. If you are looking to just jump on a Zoom call with me because you have a specific problem you're having trouble fixing, or you are looking for help with a bigger project that you want um, to just talk through maybe, or just want to collect some ideas and what you might want to be careful with. Also feel free to just buy me a coffee below. The link is below, buy me a coffee that allows me to put some time on my calendar and we can jump on a Zoom call together. Also, if you find these videos helpful, feel free to buy me a coffee below. Um, that helps me stay caffeinated doing these videos and keep doing these videos. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments and take care and goodbye.